In Affinity Photo, you can duplicate shapes very quickly and can be used to create all kinds of designs, such as this. You can use any of these tools, but I'm just going to go with the diamond tool. With the diamond tool, create a very narrow diamond. Now I'm using blue, of course you could use any color. Once you drag that, don't release. Don't release the mouse. What you need to do is then press the right arrow key and you can repeat that. Just keep clicking and you'll generate all these diamonds all the way across and you'll get that. Once you've done that, what you can also do is you can then merge them. Really nice to put them all into a single curve. So go to layer and then down here and geometry and merge curves. So merge curves, they're all merged into a single curve. And you can now manipulate that using the various tools, such as node tool. So go to the node tool, here's the node tool. And with that, you can drag across there and then you can just drag that way or drag that way. So you can create a very quick, very intense arrow design. And just select the move tool and let's just reposition it so you can see it a bit better. And you can see the design there. Now you can also manipulate all the other nodes as well, but also you can add additional nodes. To do that, just go over here, select the again node tool, and make certain you've got everything selected. So let's just drag over all of them, all selected. And with that, you can go along here, long top, split curves after selected. So click there, and straight away, you end up with these additional nodes all the way through the center. Now what you can do, simply just drag there and you can then drag this way or maybe drag that way to create even more unusual shapes. Also, repeat that. Now unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be any sort of symmetry option. Now you could think there would be, but unfortunately there's a number of snaps, but nothing to actually do a symmetry effect. Well, you can obviously do it by eye or maybe create a grid if you want to do it exactly. So I'm just doing it very loosely so you can create literally anything. But if you want a symmetrical design, probably a grid. So I would suggest go to view and show grid so you can line everything up nicely. Well, once you've got this design and it can be anything, it's still a vector, you can still go back and modify it. So you can just change this and this is using the move tool. You can see now you've got this sort of design. Well, what you can also do with this is you can, again, you could duplicate it, but you can also apply live filters to it or layer effects. So let's just go and apply a layer effect. So right click and you can go down here and there's layer effects. Now you can also access this via the layers panel. So slow layer effects and then go for say 3D. So you can add very quickly. And now that 3D effect is applied to the entire curve. So you can just move that around, change the direction, etc. You can also, if you wish, modify the color. Also, add shadow if you want to add a shadow as well. And you get something like that. And again, you can still manipulate this. So if you decide, let's just go here to the no tool, and you can then select all of those and reposition that to create a sort of design like that. With the move tool selected, you can now just drag this in, maybe create something like that. And of course, what you can also do is you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate the design. So just drag and you've got something like that. Now you could put them close together or maybe overlap or something like that. And then again, hold it down again and just drag and create something like that. Of course, you can align it and create a variety of different designs with that. Another option, simply select that one. It's still live. You can still change the color. So click here. Also, you can go for swatches. So instead of that, you can go for maybe a nice colorful gradient and maybe select that and select that one. And again, click there, maybe go for gradient like that and so on. So you can create a variety of different designs with that. And maybe that one as well. Let's just click there and select a rainbow gradient. So you've got a super colorful design, which creates a sort of metallic sheen-like effect very quickly with these lines. Also what you can do, you can manipulate them further, of course, with filters. Now, if you want to apply it to the whole thing, what you need to do is select that one, that one, and that one. Right click, and then group. 
Once you've done that, you can then go down here and you can rasterize it. Once you've done that, it's no longer a shape, so you can't manipulate any of the nodes anymore. So rasterize. So once rasterize, go up here, filters, maybe distort, maybe deform or any of the others, maybe mirror to create a lovely symmetrical design. But deform, and before I do that, always a good idea, make certain the move tool selected. If you don't do that, some of the tools like the brush tool, etc., seem to have problems with deform. So filters, distort and deform. And I'm gonna go with similarity and just simply add some pins and then just distort this design. And of course, the result will be very varied. So just drag this out. And you can create all kinds of weird and wonderful color distortions across the screen like that. And so we click there and drag there and drag up there and click apply and so on. Literally all kinds of amazing line designs can be created using this approach. But that's all from a very basic diamond shape. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Always adding new videos all the time. Also a like or dislike, always appreciated.